That's not good. I need that to drain. Why is it not draining? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am in Lincoln, currently in a car park. Just been to an Amazon locker to pick up this. I'll go into more detail about this in a bit. And uh, now I need to find a park up. So I've been looking on Park for Night and I found one that looks pretty pretty reasonable. Um, down almost like a dead end kind of road. Um, next to, I don't know if you can see that, but it's next to a river. Uh, and you should be able to see the Lincoln uh, Cathedral from there as well. So I'm going to put, I'll put that in the sat nav, but I'm not going to head straight there. I'm going to drive around, have a little look around, see if I can find any park ups that are better, that are easier, or just a few to have in the bag and take you along with me, show you how I do it. Let's go. Like I said, I am in Lincoln. Um, just picked up a parcel from Amazon Locker. Thank you very much, mate. Let's have a little drive around on the way to uh, a potential park up the park for night. If any of you are new to the channel, I'm Darren, I'm the Over Motorhome. And the reason I'm called the Over Motorhome is because I predominantly park up in urban places. Hence the name. I don't aimlessly drive around normally and look for a place to park. I normally look at the maps, look at the apps and all this and that, but this is a great way for me to show you what uh, I look for, what I'm you know, what I'm thinking, why I park there, why I wouldn't park there. Um, so if you are new to uh, park ups and van life and that, let's go down here and see what we can find down here. See now that's for sure, there's a Morrison's there. That is a really small Morrison's. What is going on there? I've been doing this now for seven years. So I know a thing or two about, about park ups. I've never had the knock, which I'm pretty proud about. Um, yeah, so, and I am driving around right now in an, just shy of an 8.5 meter motorhome. So it's pretty, uh, it's quite a big old lump to, to find somewhere to park. But it is possible and I've done it many times and I'll do it again, over and over and over again. It is 20 to five in the evening, so traffic is gonna be a bit heavy. Um, people are starting to go home for, for the day. But I know a lot of people are starting van life or they think about van life and, and the parking is one of the biggest issues trying to wild camp, trying to find places to park and, and do all that, that is quite a worry for some people. Um, and I totally get it. I, I was the same when when you don't know, you don't know. So that's why I make these videos every now and again to try and help and show you that it really isn't that scary. It really isn't that hard to find uh, places. I've got a whole host of videos in a playlist on the channel if you want to go through them. They're, they, you know, they're, they're timeless. They're not, no, nothing really uh, new has come to the world of, of finding a park up. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't happen. It just, you know, um, well, to be fair, the only thing new that happens is park ups get fewer and far between, but I'm still doing it. I've got no end in sight. There are thousands, millions of park ups out there. There's all the apps to use. You've got park for night, you've got search for sites, um, wild camping, uh, you know, you've got, um, I, I then use uh, Google Street View and Google Maps, zoom in, have a little look around, and yeah, between all of them, find somewhere, no worries. Always find somewhere. This looks like a fairly nice area. It's a bit of a slope. <laughs> These are big houses. These are nice houses. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna want me around here. Look at these. You know you're doing well if you got something like this. <laughs> that being said, uh, you offered it to me tomorrow. I would probably snap your hand off for it, but only for the reason to sell it to then travel. To put money in the bank, to put fuel in the tank, wings in the freezer, <laughs> and awesome things to do. I wouldn't be hanging around and staying with one of these. But look at them. Beautiful houses. It's a very well-to-do area, I would say. I don't know 
how much she, if I'd get out to go out, but I might park along here, just along this fence line, because I'm against the fence, you know, I mean, I am outside of some, some houses, but there's no double yellows, there's no private estate area, it says, or anything. I'd park down here where this van is, all along here, I'd park along, along here, because you're completely covered by the trees um, and the bushes, so that is perfect. Yeah, right where this Ford Transit is, I would park all along there. These houses remind me of like um, the UK version of um, Home Alone House. This is definitely like a Home Alone House. We've done a loop of the, of the rich area, let's go find somewhere else. Uh, somewhere more, more the, uh, accommodating. <laughs> Maybe I should do that as a as a park up at one point. Try and park up on the richest streets in town <laughs> and then see me get the knock within 20 minutes. <laughs> but if you guys want to see that or have got any other kind of park up challenges, then drop them in the comments below because I would definitely, uh, I mean, you know, I am a self-proclaimed master of park ups. I can do park ups. Park ups don't bother me in the slightest. They really don't. Um, I, I, I've done park ups all, all like I say for seven years so I do need a little bit of a challenge and it would be uh, interesting to see what uh, would happen when I get the knock. I've done these videos before and then I've ended up in dead ends and <laughs> God knows what so you know when you're doing this make sure you are aware of your surroundings because otherwise you have to reverse out and uh, get, get into some situations. Like I said, I don't normally just drive around aimlessly, um, especially with the cost of diesel these days. Um, but this is probably the most interesting and best way to show you guys what um, you know I'm looking for and looking looking at. Now, this is more of an appealing area, but there's so many driveways you're just not going to be able to park outside. You know, the, the motorhome's too long between driveways. Um, it's just not not going to work. If there is a motorhome in the area, then that can be used to your advantage, you know. Um, as in, the the neighbours will probably assume that you're there visiting that person. Uh, they just put two and two together and they come up with 24. That's what you want because they're not going to then go, oh, you know, that's sticking out, you know. But they assume that you're here to see someone in the street and if there is a, a motorhome then you know there's a good chance they'll put that together uh, right let's get out of this estate and then find find another one so I've driven a couple of miles down the dual carriageways and I thought I'd just turn at the next turning and yeah look where I am <laughs> there's no parking down here <laughs> even if there was a spa I mean there's a space there Technically, I could park there. I mean, you know, it's not completely crazy. I mean, it's a very tight road, so I wouldn't want to be, you know, um, my motorhome would be exposed. See, now, if this was a little bit less steep, I would probably, I could probably park here. Again, very tight roads. I am, you know, I've not got much room either side of me right now. <laughs> uh, but you know needs must and all that if you're looking for a park up and uh, <clears throat> you gotta be in this place and uh, uh, you know for whatever reason then you know like here I might park because it's double yellow that side so nothing's gonna park that side so there is a nice amount of room and again here I would park here um, it would be <clears throat> like last resort, like between these two vans, I would park here. Hang on, I might have parked here before. No, I thought I was near a fishing shop, I knew. <laughs> Looks like we're getting close to where we could park. But you know what? You could, I could park along here. I'd park along here all day long. Um, the big blocks of flats do make you think a little bit but I don't know what the area is like that's me you know prejudging an area just by blocks of flats but this I park along yeah definitely 
Uh, now I think where I was gonna park, I think they're digging it out. So this is where I was gonna park. I mean, this is in the arse end of nowhere. I don't think anything good happens down this, uh, this these areas. I'm gonna turn around, but have a look at the little park up that I've found, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, can I park here? One without getting stuck in the mud. That don't seem too bad. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not the south of France. <laughs> and there is roadworks there and whatnot. I don't know what they're doing, but no one's coming along that part because, you know, no one's coming along because of the, the roadworks are there. Like, this is a bit muddy, but it's quiet. It's very quiet. Let's have a little look at the river, shall we? Um, there doesn't seem to be... See, one of these things, like, in these out of... In the middle of nowhere, air quotes, shall we say, I would look for, for, like, you know, bad behaviour, people being a nuisance. You'd look for a whole pile of McDonald's wrappers or, you know, them little gas air canisters all in a massive pile. Now, that's not here. There's general rubbish, but there is no um, mass, uh, you know, pile of it from what, you know, from where they've been here overnight, parked up, revving their cars and doing all that. So I've had worse places, I've had better places. It's a park up. Right, I'm all parked up. All the blinds are down. Um, right, I want to show you this. <laughs> so I had to go pick up this. It is clearly... <laughs> it's not some weird random toy. It is a plunger. Um, bit of a big plunger, to be fair. I only wanted a small plunger. Um, my bathroom sink isn't draining. Now, I've got this because I want to see if I can gently um, unblock it. If that doesn't work, and this is a last resort because I want to get it done. And me, I've got some Mr. Muscle, which... I don't really, I've never really used it in a remote home. I've never had the problem. It does say it's safe for all pipes. I'm probably going to get a load of people in the comments down going, don't use it, you've ruined your, you've ruined your motor home. Um, I really will only use the minimal amount if I have to, but I'm going to fill the sink up now and then try and plunge it and see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out and open the waste pipe now there shouldn't be anything in there there's just clean water coming out because i emptied the pipe i emptied the tank um today actually so i'm gonna i just want a, a clear line through so i'm gonna jump out and do that and then try again well that doesn't seem to be working yeah it looks like mr muscle's gonna have to come and uh save the day hopefully while that's doing that hopefully fingers crossed working i think it's time to uh sort some dinner out and i think i'm gonna have one of the favorites sausage mash and gravy it's been about 10 maybe 15 minutes now like i've been pottering around with the sausages and that <laughs> the water's still in there it's not gone it's not gone anywhere hmm now I might boil the kettle, but I'm not going to put boiling hot water down there because, again, the pipes are not built for it, you know. The sink in the kitchen might be, you know, but... And I know they can take hot water. I know they can, but I don't want to put scalding hot water down there just because I don't want I don't want to mess anything up, especially when it comes to, comes to pipes that are hidden in, in the walls and wherever and water. They're not a good combination to to be messing with and get wrong so yeah i'll boil the kettle and then see see what see if that helps i suppose sausages are almost done well they're halfway um so i might as well put the mash in now let me need to move a sausage mm -hmm. put that there uh, I put a tiny knob of butter in there just to like keep it you know moist and that and whatnot. Um hopefully it doesn't dry out too much. We'll see. Uh, 
That is a banging dinner any day of the week. You know I love chicken wings and I could eat them daily. But so every now and again, you just want a bit of a, a comfort meal, you know? And sausage and mash is definitely up there on the comfort list. You know, not too sure what I'm going to watch tonight whilst I'm eating the dinner. But, um, might stick a movie on, might, might look for a TV show. To be fair, I could do with some recommendations. So if you're watching any TV shows at the moment, you definitely recommend. Or if there's any decent movies, please drop them in the comments below because, uh, yeah, I want to add them to the list. I do like getting stuck into a TV show. I will, I will, uh, I will admit that. I love getting stuck into a TV show. So if there's one that's got, you know, that you really like, I, I like American TV shows, to be fair. Just not long finished, um, Yellowstone waiting for the last part of series five to come out and that is not coming out until November what but yeah if you have any of you haven't watched Yellowstone you need to where have you been get on Yellowstone oh absolutely amazing but yeah if you've got any tv shows any movies drop them in the comments below and I'll add them to the list thank you very much right I'm gonna eat my sausage and mash. Good morning, you lovely lot. Right, perfect little park up, no problems. As you can hear and probably see, it's piddling down with rain. So yeah, I woke up about uh, quarter to seven, half six, quarter to seven, something like that. And uh, yeah, hammering down with rain. So <laughs> I'm not going fishing in that. Um, yeah, some of you might laugh at that, like, oh, you know, go on, get out of there. But the one thing, I know, I know this is, it sounds like an excuse, but it is, it is genuine. Is, you know, even if like you, even if I didn't worry about the rain, if I go out there and set up in the rain, it's then everything is wet. And then I've, it's like putting all my like fishing luggage, like putting all my fishing luggage back in the garage, all ringing wet it's just too much it's like trying to then dry it out and i can turn the heating on but then it's it all that moisture is coming up around the bed because that's where my um that's where my radiators are either side of my bed and through the garage so then yeah it's just it's not not ideal you don't want that moisture inside the motorhome if you can help it so yeah i really try and avoid avoid the wet as much as possible what like i say once i'm set up I can put like, you know, tarpaulins and ground sheets and whatnot over all my gear. I'll put my gear up and my umbrella and then I'm, you know, pretty protected. But yeah, I'm not going out in that. So I think today I'm just going to uh, sort something to eat out for breakfast. I'm thinking scrambled egg and salmon, uh, a classic. Smoked salmon and scrambled eggs is an absolute classic. Um, I'm sure some of you don't like that. It's quite controversial on that. I'd love to know if you guys uh, like a bit of smoked salmon and eggs in the morning in the motorhome because, uh, yeah, I, I quite like it. It's a quite a nice, nice little breakfast. And what I do is I go to Costco and buy a big bulk bag of, uh, like, salmon trimmings and then I divide it up into, like, 75 gram pouches and then put it in the freezer and then I've got nice amount of smoked salmon for my eggs and it don't cost the world <laughs> love it but yeah i think today is just going to be um a work day inside really i'm going to do some uh, bits and bobs on the laptop um yeah not much to it really i'll stay down here for a while because no one's bothering me like i say a few cars went past i think a few cars went past about 11 o'clock they must have been clocking off work down the end um i left the cctv on all night just to make sure you know if anything you know anyone was around or whatever but nothing nothing occurred so yeah it's just a regular day in the life really this video nothing too nothing too groundbreaking nothing too uh special but if you guys want to see any particular videos then please do drop them in the comments below i'll be more than happy to uh add them to the list and try and get them done if there's any campsites you want me to go to any places you want me to you know you think that i would like or anything like that drop them in the comments below and uh yeah i will catch you guys oh 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 just to not leave you on tender hooks anyone that was wondering about the sink it has drained overnight, so I'm thinking, oh yes, this, <laughs> this with his guarantee has worked. 
is still there. The block continues. <laughs> so, if you've got any <laughs> hints, tips, or comments on why this is happening, then, then please, please, drop them in the comments below. I'm hoping by the time this video comes out that I won't need them and the block will be gone. But... At this rate, I don't think that's going to happen. So, yeah, please help, <laughs> help me out. <laughs>